Yes. <laughs> to close a bag. Okay, well, apparently it is. What are we about to go do? We are going to Austin to get new side-by-side. -side. New side-by-side. -side. New side-by-side. -side. Is this a good decision? Probably not. Well, it's not your worst. It's not my worst. I'm doing better. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> Doing better. Here you go. It's, it's all yours. It's not the worst decision I've <laughs> ever made. But yeah, so I'm sure you probably saw the title. Uh, we're going to pick up a Can Am XRS Turbo R. Uh, it's a race bike. Apparently, was built for like going to Texplex, doing jumps at like 70 miles an hour, 100 feet up in the air, you know, whatever. We're gonna send it like 300 feet up in the air at like 90 miles an hour. So. Um, yeah, so that might be the bad choices. The not so good choices. Yeah, they're there. Yeah, yeah, they're there. They're just, this is better. It's just the side by side alone is better. But everything else that's gonna come with it is not good. It's not gonna so be my best choices. It is a bad decision. Well, no, no. I mean, it's still a good decision because, like, it's still like a good side by side. You know? glass to save my ass. I sure hope we don't. I'm tired of breaking shit. That's all I do. <laughs> <laughs> we have done pretty well with the, the 1000 though. Are you excited? Hell yeah. About to load up the two-step. If I can sit there and launch it. <laughs> Maybe do that after we leave the dude's house. Let's see if he'll do it. Oh, okay. Let him, you know, show me that it works and it doesn't break. Because the soon the first time I do it, something's gonna break. So Yeah. Just how it goes. It's like the razor. First time I tried hitting it on the street and just snapped the axle immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about Turn that. First night with it. Good job. So we got the uh, Can-Am. It actually turns out that it is pro racing driver Alex Laughlin. I'm sorry if I messed up his last name. Um, but dude drives pro mod, top fuel cars. Um, so this was his old buggy that he used to race over at Texplex. Are you ever gonna put your seatbelt on? No. Okay, all right, whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna do a walk around here in just a minute. Uh, we just got back over into town. And then uh, we're gonna head over to her parents' house, the camera girl's parents' house, and <laughs> my girlfriend's parents' house. What, what do you want me to call you? Camera girl. Camera girl? I mean, you are the camera girl right now. I guess. All right, anyways, um, so we're gonna go over there. <laughs> and because their parents just got a basically brand new Honda Talon. So we're gonna go run through their neighborhood. They've got a bunch of little, 
trails or whatever for their neighborhood and then on, on whatever we got stuck on a lot of times and uh, had a lot of good times back there and almost got pissed on and ran over somebody's foot. Bunch of bunch of weird things happened, but you know, it's a good time back there because there's a lot of alcohol involved in a lot of side by sides, <laughs> but it's a good time. But yeah, so we're gonna go do that, and yeah, so cue the B-roll. moments later all right loading buggy part two <laughs> attempt two <laughs> Did it! I did it! Yay! <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, so we uh, done did a rednecking right here with the uh, zip ties. Um, this it was off of the 900. Um, done drilled some of those holes in it. Done got it. Certified. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that some zip ties that can't fit? fix. Does it not <laughs> fit? <laughs> Fuck yeah, it'll fit. Will Beautiful. it tow it? Fuck yeah, it'll tow it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta bring some straps. You want me? I'll, I'll grab mine. Yeah. yeah they're, they're a little bigger. Uh, I don't know where my straps are. You want me to? You want. Okay. Are you filming? I guess, yeah. Uh, shit. Oh, is that in case we get stuck? Look at y'all. Look at us preparing. Thinking for once. We got, we got one home oh, baser tonight. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, thank you, sir. I need some of that. What's up? What's it?
found the go fast key. <laughs> Turn that one off. We were using the wrong key. Again, something. Let's try the other key. Did it die when you turned around? No, they were good, just in here. Huh. Weird. Hmm. Well, that's not good. So, we think that. We ran out of gas here. You want the light on both of us? Jesus. Right there. Okay. Uh, we think we ran out of gas. I'm so sure. We're, yeah, you are. Uh, <laughs> we're not entirely <laughs> sure. Uh, but it looks like the fuel gauge isn't working because when you look down into the fuel can or fuel um, that right there, 
Um, yeah, anyways, uh, can't see any gas down it. You can see the actual like sending unit or whatever. Um, doesn't look like there's anything there. Tried shaking it around, can't see any fuel moving around, but the bike shows that it's full. So hopefully it's just out of fuel. If not, there's gonna be other problems. And I always break shit the first night, so. Always. <sighs> so now we're just out here. You can't see anything. It's just no. pitch black. At least it's it's only 819, so like it this just guy. got dark. backyard um, but got it here ran out of gas tonight <laughs> perfectly fine was stuck in the middle of the woods pitch black for a little sketchy what, like 30 minutes yeah it was a little sketch but you know it's fine we got <laughs> gas we're all good and found out that the fuel gauge doesn't work at all so um, <laughs> more details could have been worse could always be worse um, but it's a bad bitch to say the least and uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun Thank you.